What is going on guys? Today we are continuing the saga of trying to get the Civic completely finished up manual wise and uh, it's like 99% there. We just need a little bit of help with some new parts that just came in. So let's head to the shop and uh, see what everyone's up to. Also guys, before I started heading to the shop, I just wanted to let you know that my Divine Cherry Blossom slap stickers are back in stock. They're super high quality, and if you guys wanna support me and my YouTube channel and everything that I do, head to the link in the description, pick up one of these. You won't regret it. They're ridiculously high quality, and I really appreciate it. So, now, let's head to the shop. What the fuck are you doing, dude? Um. Well, I'm trying to roll it to see if it has any wheel hop. Oh, and yeah. And there, it really isn't because the carpet is all Right. It's also not a perfectly flat surface with the cement being weird, it's too. So. It's really hard. I wish we had, like, an actual, um, like, roller that yeah. they use. Let me see them faces, though. Oh, boy. You got that new red hardware. Hell, yeah. These are my childs. <laughs> these are my, these are my your my children. Baby. My, my baby. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, welcome back to the shop where people love to blow fuses and make the lights in our shop go out. But that's whatever. The building is shared by a bunch of different people. Whatever. So in today's video or in last video, you guys saw that I drove this thing for the first time, which was awesome, and it. Uh, Drove fine, drove great. But there were a couple kinks in it that I need to figure out. Um, brakes kept going in and out um, as I was turning. That makes me believe that it's just the, uh, the brake lines on either side of the front were getting stretched and causing my pedal to just go all the way down. Um, upper control arms are officially shot. Um, they're completely blown out. And I have some new ones in a box that just came today. So we can put those in today. And we also need to get a longer, better bolt with a full amount of thread for the Clutch Master because it was not threading all the way, so there was a little bit of play in the, uh, the Master and the firewall. And we also need to finish up the battery relocation. So, got quite a bit of work to do today, but it can get done, and hopefully we can drive this thing again and uh, give this thing a wash because it's disgusting. So I originally wanted to get another set of adjustable upper control arms for the uh, for the front, but none of them uh, would ship fast enough to where I'd be able to put them in today. So I just got some uh, some normal OEM style upper control arms with uh, no adjustment, but that's perfectly fine. Should do the job and uh, need to get these in. I'm gonna start by jacking this thing up, take the wheel off and uh, just start taking stuff apart and see what we can do. I'm the light. We ran out of light, so. Oh, so this is dead. Brett's helping me. <laughs> Watching phone combo. I see the picture, you know? Let's just, <laughs> let's just. <laughs> uh, it's like it was never turned off, dude. Good. That's awesome. Yay! <laughs> and I'll show you guys what we're doing with for this control arm. So, up in here, these control arms are always a pain to get off, but this one has especially been a problem. Uh, it is completely destroyed from when we tried to take it off to the point where it's completely bent. Uh, so, this one's going to be fun to take off. Hopefully, it's not seized in there still, and we can just hammer it out, but... I have strong feelings that it is still seized in there. Mission is to get this one out, and we'll do the passenger side one, and then uh, tighten everything up, make sure it's all good, and suspension should be all set. I guess from driving it maybe did it, but something changed the way that it was stuck in there from when uh, it was before when we literally couldn't get it out at all. I took a few hammers to it, didn't work, and then I grabbed the uh, pickle fork that I had used last time and checked that out. She popped right out. So that's gonna make this so, 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 so much easier. And uh, now I just gotta drop the coil over and take it out, swap it out. Last season pretty much kicked off. I was getting this car set up with my workmeisters, getting it nice and slammed and cambered and everything in order to fit them properly. In order to do that, we had to shorten the front upper control arms, which 
sucked. That, that don't do it. it, it didn't end up working well for me. So learn from my mistake, do it a different way, do the lower control arm. But if you look at the difference, you can see the, uh, the new one is much longer, so that will take a lot of camber out and uh, hopefully bring this car back to a, uh, a pretty decent alignment. It's not going to be perfect, obviously. It still needs to get dialed in, but it should be much, much better than what it was before with this being all fucking loose and everything. So I'm stoked. I'm going to slap this one in, put it all back together, make sure everything's tight, drop the car down, do the passenger side, and then we can move on. And just like that, she's all back together. Nice new control arm, all bolted down, caught her pins in place, everything's tight. Now I'm going to drop it, put it down, and uh, do the passenger side. So both new upper control arms are in, tight, done, cars back on the ground. Two things. One, the alignment looks a lot better than it did before. The fitment in the front is much nicer now. Before with the uh, with the Bunko old ones, since they were shortened for camber, uh, the front still had a, a pretty big amount of camber, but now it's perfectly uh, perfectly stock, except for the, uh, the camber that it's been given from lowering the car, but I'm perfectly fine with that. Looks a lot better. Now we are diving into the battery relocation and making it official. Uh, we still got to remove the, uh, the dreaded red subwire and a couple other things, but just clean it up, make it look nicer, and uh, put the back seats in and all that stuff and get it situated in the trunk so it won't go anywhere. So I'll update you guys where we are in a little bit. All right, so Petrie has been at this for a while. You want to tell everyone how it went, what you did, all, all right, that stuff. So we did our original wiring to make sure the car worked, which you saw in the last video. Right. And now it's all been loomed, so it looks a lot better than just nice. wire. Nice, loomed, all that stuff. Looks awesome. And looks a little better than just a solid color. And right. it has a little protection to the wire too. A little more than what there already is. Right. Um, to the inside. Well, you can't, you can't, you can't see even it. tell that it has a really thick zero gauge wire running through it. <laughs> it splits into two four gauge, one to power up the fuse box, and one to power up the starter. Nice. So we were able to remove that big fat harness that was here and also the battery. Obviously, it's in the trunk now, so looks a lot cleaner. Once the intake is back in, then you, know, you really won't even tell. Right, you won't be able to see anything. So that's awesome. Then we're just going to take this uh, sub wire, pull it through, and then just cut it shorter and run it to the back and that should be fine or to whatever power source, but I'm stoked. This thing is coming along. Now that this is all situated, we're gonna do that sub wire. And then after that, the only thing that we need to do is get the uh, uh, another bolt, a different bolt for the clutch master because the bolt that I have in there is um, only threaded on a certain port and it needs to be threaded all the way because when we put it in, it went past the threads and then now it's just loose flapping around. So once that's done and that's in, then this car is set. For the, yeah, you're not getting anything else. This is all you're getting. That's it. Maybe a turbo. Uh, what'd you say? Uh, da, da. Maybe a turbo. Da, 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 da. We're just gonna bang out this sub wire and then uh, do the clutch bolt thing. Okay. Got some food, got some bolts. We can go finalize the clutch master, get it all tightened down, and this car should be all set. Ooh, got the freshies. These things look so good. I still have to put together the fourth one. It's going <laughs> off to get replated. I know there's three. What do you mean? Your car doesn't have three wheels? Ah, uh, well, it has Japanese writing on a German car, so I guess it just makes oh, sense everyone, to have three wheels. Everyone loves that. Everyone loves that. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's gonna look dope. All right, so we're swapping out the uh, the bad bolts on the clutch master. And Steven's doing that, and then I totally forgot that I had my uh, my MPC strut brace that I totally forgot to put back on. So I'm gonna throw that back on real quick, and then we can delete the uh, sub wire. And then Steven also just pointed out that we forgot to get the cotter pins 
for the uh, the pedals and stuff. So we'll probably have to go out and get those as well. And then this thing will be done for today, which means that it'll be officially done. And then tomorrow we can come here and make an entire video on driving the car, which I'm super excited about. So slowly but surely getting there. And this thing's coming along nicely. <laughs> Let's see how this thing does. Hell yeah. So today we pretty much finished up completely buttoning up this car. It is pretty much all set. We put the new upper control arms in. We fixed the clutch master bolt that was all screwed up. Got some cotter pins put in there. Relocated the battery to the trunk. While this car is warming up, I'll pop the trunk and I'll show you guys that. Came out really nice. I also cleaned up the subwoofer and all that stuff a little bit. It was all thrown over the place. So now it's nice and clean in here. And we still have to get a box for the uh, battery. But that's something that we can get later down the line. And then that's it. Thing's still dirty as hell. But now that I have all of those cotter pins in the pedals, and the new bolt on the clutch master and everything. I think this car is gonna feel a lot better drive-wise. So I wanna take it out one more time uh, before we leave tonight, just to feel how it feels. And I also slapped another one of these on here because of the rust. Damn Meisters killed my quarter panel. Part of me is really missing my work Meisters, but part of me is also liking the, uh, the fact that I don't scrape everywhere, so kind of in the air <laughs> the next day so last night we finished up doing all of the little bullshit just to get this thing running and driving and feeling good wise and uh, I finished the video out last night I didn't really feel like it had much substance to it so I'm um, came back and uh, when I came back I adjusted the uh, clutch pedal and made sure that it grabs to a place where I like it. I was able to get it to grab pretty well again before it started to not engage or anything like that. So that should be all set. Got two cameras facing me here. So we should be good on that. Like I have said in the past two videos or so, this thing is absolutely disgusting. So I want to take it to the car wash, which is probably a mile and a half down the street, get it nice and clean. And then uh, we can go from there. But I'm excited to drive this thing. I've driven it around the parking lot, but that really doesn't do it much justice. Let's do it. First manual drive. First legit manual drive. Alignment is definitely not there. <laughs> Still, I need to get it uh, fully aligned again, but it'll do the job for right now. Definitely grabs a lot lower which I'm happy about. Downside, I still don't have a tack on this cluster, so I will get a tack at some point. I'll get a cluster with a tack, but for now, I just do it by the noise of the car. Clutch is a little hard to get used to. Last time I drove a manual, it was with a fully stocked clutch. But, hey, she's chugging along. This is pretty good. Yeah, the alignment is totally off. If I was to let go of the steering wheel right now, this thing would just pull right to the right. But, it shifts really well. For an $80 clutch, I'm not proud saying that. I'm not proud by saying that at all, but with a uh, with an $80 clutch, you would think it would feel really fucking horrible, but it really doesn't. It feels pretty good. So, I'm stoked. Stoked? How many times do I say stoked? 
outro desse vídeo. I'm pretty like I, I feel happy with myself because a lot of you guys know a lot of the cars that I've owned have all been automatics and I never really drove manual um, throughout my five years of driving. Um, I've always just kind of driven automatics and you know it's it's been fine but I've wanted to try and get into manual more just because it's cooler in a sense but uh, I'm, I'm pretty I'm pretty uh, happy with myself that I'm doing this well oh, oh. forgot how aggressive this thing is I think we got our boy uh our boy Giraldi behind us in the GS. <laughs> Giraldi's behind me sending me fucking Snapchats and shit. Wash me up. Hell yeah. So I think after I get this thing washed, I want to go and give Matt a visit at AutoZone because he's been uh, working there like six days a week and has not come to the shop in a long time. So I think it'd be kind of cool to show him the Civic swapped. All right. Overall, I'm pretty fucking happy right now. <laughs> I would say this thing is uh, running and driving a lot better and really hasn't been much that we had to fix or any kinks or anything like that. So I'm, uh, I'm pretty stoked with it. I'm getting the hang of it. You guys gotta give me some time with that. I've been used to uh, the whole the whole automatic life this whole time, you know, not having to do all this, so. But I'm, I'm getting it pretty quick. I did drive the Del Sol too when I had that. Well, this is a bad one. Oh, that's a bad bomb. Let's go see what Matt's doing. <laughs> we did it. She's finally done. Is it nice? Yeah, honestly, it drives really well. These tires are junk right now, though, because I just fucking spin everywhere in the snow. <laughs> but. They're not that bad. They're better than mine. Oh, look at you and your fancy setup. <laughs> this is it called a multi cam? She's a little dirty, but. Damn, look at how short that is. <laughs> is it like super comfortable, though? Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> it's my exhaust. <laughs> the linkage hits my exhaust. Oh man. <laughs> I'm just happy to see it out of the shop. Oh, you man. <laughs> I'm happy to see it out of the shop just because it gets all dusty. Oh, there there it, is. it is. It looks so nice though. It's not bad. It looks like it goes fast. It, it really, <laughs> it really it does. does. It really does not. <laughs> Although I did notice a difference in power from getting rid of the auto just because of the torque converter and all that shit. That's nice though. And it's painted black too. That's really good. Yeah. I, I was going to go silver, but then it was like, uh, that won't match with the rest of the engine bay. So this clutch is aggressive. I'm not it, used to it. Is it a, um, it's a high stage, point, low point? It's a six puck stage three. Jeez. <laughs> Uh, not for obviously right now, but for future plans. For now, I'm just getting used to it. I didn't know that the one near your house had a touchless thing in there. Mm -hmm. That's pretty nice. It's not bad. For a stage three, it's like pretty soft. The shifter bushings are gone. I need to get a new set of those. But. And Gage's little sister comes into the room and I'm like, and she's like, um, thanks for coming back to my YouTube channel, blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, is that Mike? <laughs> and everyone just starts dying laughing. <laughs> and we're like gasping for air. I was like, that was way funnier than I thought it was gonna be. You didn't clip this back in. Nah, it broke off. Boy. It was clipped in here, but since I was so low, the upper control arm whacked up in there and knocked it right off. 
<laughs> oh, it pushed it out? It pushed it out. <laughs> it, like, it broke it and pushed it out, yeah. Funny. All right, so I'm going to head back to the shop. I think there's a couple things that still need to be worked out and kinked and tweaked from the uh, the little drive that I just did. Um, it feels really good, but the clutch is a little bit spongy, so it might need to be bled some more and you know little things like that here and there. But uh, overall, I think it uh, I think it's good. The, the car drives and idles fine. There's no problems with it, so I'm stoked. But I'm gonna head back and uh, we can go over the car when we're back. All right, well, I would say overall this has been a big success. Like I said, I think there's just a couple little tiny things that need to be tweaked on this thing before it drives perfectly. Shifting is a little weird. Sometimes it won't go fully into gear and stuff. You just have to throw it back into neutral and then back into gear and stuff. That might just be shifter bushings or something. I'm not entirely sure. I know that the bushings in this are pretty bad, so I'll probably swap those out at some point. But overall, it shifts good. Um, I don't really have any complaints with that. Minor tweaks to the clutch and stuff like that might need to be done, but overall this thing is pretty much finished and, and ready to go. I'm pretty uh, I'm pretty stoked on it. Man, I I haven't seen this thing like outside parked up. I mean winter obviously it sucks, but it it feels really good to see this thing out in the open again. And uh, even though I just washed it and now it's all dirty again, it just felt good to give this thing a little bit of uh, a little bit of pampering so i hope you guys enjoyed this leave a like comment subscribe all that stuff i'm stoked that this thing is running and driving and performing awesomely is that a word i don't know but it's a super bowl game today i'm gonna head home spend some time with my family all that stuff watch the super bowl and uh we'll see how everything goes i'm not a big sports fan but uh i'll watch it anyways so I will see you guys in the next video. I got some Kanjo stuff that I want to buy for this thing to make it look a little more aesthetically pleasing, but I'm really happy on this. So, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one.